the next thing I discovered on destiny is that demons and spirits always occupy human vessels. The Bible said the heavens belong to the Lord. The earth is for the ch children and the sons of men. Satan cannot operate without a human vessel because spirits cannot operate on the earth. It is illegal. Spirits cannot operate on the earth. It is illegal. Spirits are to operate in the spirit world. Angels cannot operate except by supernatural intervention. I might talk to somebody. And when angels want to operate, they take the body of a man. That's why somebody will say, somebody gave me this, did this, did this. When I turn, the person disappeared. The angel came in form as a man. Because you can't break spiritual protocols to operate on planet earth except you come in mortal form. It is when spirituality, when celestialism enter terrestriality, when immortality enter mortality. I might talk to somebody here. When spirituality enter humanity, when divinity enter humanity to bring freedom for, him, for mortality. So spirits can only operate by entering the body. That is why when God wanted to save this world, he could not save the world. He had to enter a body called Jesus. He had to eat like people. Sleep like people. Because if he didn't go through the rudiments of natural growth, nobody will believe him. That is why the Bible says he was in all point tempted as we are. Am I talking to somebody here? So if the enemy wants to operate against your life, he will invest his strategy he will possess impose himself on mortality he will use human beings to come after you that is why you must understand that it's not the human beings we are fighting it is the thing that enter them am I talking to somebody yokes Many of us are struggling where we are because prayer, before we came, there has been a satanic pattern, a rule, a regulation, a standing order that has been placed over our family line. Do you know, there was a young man called Samson. Samson was the father of the Nazarene. Who is a Nazarene? A Nazarene is somebody who has restrictions and prohibitions. Who is not permitted to either drink or eat. Who is not permitted to cut the hair. There are certain prohibitions, certain restrictions that a Nazarene is under. Samson was the first Nazarene. So Samson, the nation, the, the nation you hear, Nazareth. Samson is the father of Nazareth. Samson ended up a useless nonentity. Because when Samson died, they came up with a proverb, can any good thing come out of Nazareth? That's how that proverb came. Because Samson was a notorious entity. Samson failed God, failed himself, failed his generation. Because Samson was useless, they came up with a parable, can any good thing come out of Nazareth? But when Jesus was born, the Bible says in Acts chapter 10 verse 38, Jesus how God anointed him. I might talk to somebody with the Holy Ghost and power. But he called him Jesus of Nazareth. Who went about doing good. One version said, can any good thing come out of Nazareth? Another version said, Jesus of Nazareth went about doing good. Meaning he was not just good. He was distributing good. What they say cannot come out of Nazareth. He didn't just come out as good. He began to share good. They say nobody can be good. I am not just good. Take good, take good, take good, take good. What they say cannot happen in your family. You will not just have it, you will distribute it. I say you will not just have it, you will distribute it. I say you will distribute it. I